back in the day, I was thinking about getting a buzz cut. And I would actually call up my friends and ask him, yo, let's get a buzz cut together. And we actually ended up doing it. I got two of my friends, Alex and Jose. We got a buzz cut together. That was about four months ago. And now I've grown it out, got a little haircut. The point of this is that before I got the buzz cut, I wasn't really, I didn't really feel like it, but I knew that it was the right decision simply because I was too attached to my hair. And, you know, I thought this was the best decision for me and it'll build some of my discipline, create character, and it'll expose myself and force me to, you know, look better. But before that, I needed a reason. And by the way, if you're interested about my buzz cut stories and stuff like that, I have this video right here. It talks all about it. If you're interested in getting a buzz cut. Before that, I needed some motivation in order. I needed a reason to get a buzz cut. So my plan was, and I also needed some money. So my plan was, if I could sell snacks at school and say, if I raised $200, I'll get a buzz cut. And my marketing plan was, hey, if you buy from me I, and I save up this amount of money, I'll get a buzz cut because I'll shave my head. You know, it'll be funny. This It'll give you a reason to buy from me. And then I realized nobody cared if I got a buzz cut or not because, yeah, nobody even mentioned it. When I, okay, my plan was go up to Costco, buy some snacks. I ended up getting Rice Krispies and Gatorade. I sold Rice Krispies for a dollar, sold Gatorade for $3. And if you're interested in selling snacks at school, you want to make some money. I actually made $50 a day, $600 in 10 days. This video right here talks all about it. Full guide on how to sell snacks at school. Super good video, by the way. So the plan was to buy this stuff at Costco, go to school with it, and sell, at, sell to people. And if I raised $200, I posted it on my Instagram story. Posted on my Instagram story a day before, the night before. $200 equals buzz cut. And then the next day when I would go up to people, I would ask them, you want some Rice Krispies? And if they bought it, I would upsell. I would be like, oh, you want, you're thirsty. Do you want some Gatorade? You know, Gatorade's $3, Rice Krispies a dollar, but I'll give you both for $3, saving you a dollar. I talk about all of this in my guide, by the way. Nobody even brought it up. Nobody cared if I got a buzz cut. That's the, that's the hard truth. Nobody cared. And I was overthinking about this, bro. I was like, you know, if I get a buzz cut, then the girls won't like me anymore because the hair Loki carries my looks. And if I get a buzz cut, I'm going to look uglier, so I might not do it, but I need the money, so nobody cares. I ended up getting a buzz cut about two weeks after selling snacks at school, and I didn't even get $200. I got $70. $74 total. It, was, it wasn't two weeks because, you know, spring break. It was three days of selling snacks at school. I got $74, but that was when I was starting up. And then at the end of the school year, I was averaging about $50, $60 profit a day. But I made $70 and I was expecting to make $200. You know, the original plan, no joke, was $1,000 in revenue. I'll get a buzz cut. Then I bumped it down to $500. Then when I actually got the stuff from Costco, I'm realistically thinking, I'm like, okay, $200 is okay. I'll settle for that. I got a buzz cut after $74. And the thing about it, guys, when I went back to school, people were kind of shocked. Three days go by nobody cares nobody's mentioning it nobody cares about you bro you could do whatever you want nobody cares how old are you bro how old are you the average viewer of mine is like what like 16 years old 17 18 20 years old you're fucking young bro you haven't even experienced what it's like to fucking drive or drink alcohol or shoot a gun or vote you're fucking young, bro. Nobody cares what you do, bro. The thing about it, nobody cares if you fail. Nobody cared that I didn't reach the $200 mark. Nobody cared that I did reach the 200 Nobody cared that I made $1,000 in two months. And nobody cared I made $70 in three days. Nobody cares if you fail, but the, th the same thing is, the scary part is, nobody cares if you succeed. You could go about your entire life like an average, mediocre American man. You know, wake up, 
it's summertime, you jack off, you go to work, you come home, you indulge into instant gratification like video games, you go to college, you get a job, you work 40 years, you marry a 6 out of 10 wife, you have a couple kids. Nobody's going to bat an eye because that's an average life. So nobody cares if you succeed. But if you try to succeed and you fail, nobody cares about that either. You know, you will, you will, you will never meet a hater that is doing better than you. Everyone who talks shit about you is below you. You are capable of reaching success you cannot even a fucking imagine, brother. Because really, I believe like, you know, Ratatouille says, or whatever, anybody could cook. I believe anybody could be successful. Anybody could be rich. You just have to be truly obsessed with it. You need to fucking want it. And you need to want it bad. Okay? This was Marcus Blake. And this was Nobody Cares About You. This is the video on how I, why I got a bus cut. And how it can help you. And why you should do it. This is the video on how to make money selling snacks at school. I'll catch y'all boys later.